Okay, Dr. Mindy here, and what if I told you that the fat that you hate is actually serving a purpose? That's what we're gonna talk about on this video. So stay tuned, I'm gonna show you why your body accumulates fat and what you can do to, to get rid of it and how you can live in the body that you've always dreamed of. So stay tuned. Okay, so today I wanna to give you a different perspective and a different way of looking at why your body accumulates fat. So remember here on my channel, I'm just trying to empower you guys to understand the machinery of this incredible body that you have been given. And I know it's so frustrating when you're not losing weight. It's so frustrating when, you're, when your body's producing fat and you don't even understand why. It's, it's frustrating when you're trying fasting and keto and you're not getting the results. So let me take the conversation to a bigger picture. Let me help you understand why the body creates fat in the first place. And then I think you'll have a better understanding of what you can do to make that fat go away, okay? So remember, your body is programmed to survive. It will do everything it can possibly do to stay alive. That is its number one job. So when excess builds up in the body, and I'll explain about what excess builds up, but when excess builds up in the body, what your body is going to do is it needs to store that excess somewhere. So, it, and it may be that that excess is too much sugar. It might be that that excess is too much insulin. Maybe the excess is too many toxins that you, your toxic bucket is filling up. But if you dive into your body's perspective, if you work with this body that you've been given, it, think about it for a moment. Is it in the body's best interest to put that excess in organs and compromise how those organs function? Or would it be in the body's best interest to put that excess somewhere else? Somewhere else, And that's what it does. It creates fat so that it can start to store the excess that you have given it over the years. So fat literally is saving your life. If it didn't store it in fat, it would store it in organs. And the more sugar insulin toxins that get stored in organs, the quicker your cells are going to live and die and the quicker disease is gonna build in your body. So the first thing to do is to stop hating the fat. Look at it different and understand, oh my God, it's there to save me. Okay, so now what can we do to start to burn it? So the first thing that I look at is stop making the excess. That's gotta be the first step. So this is why fasting and keto is so um, profound for people is that you stop bringing in all of that sugar. When you stop bringing in all the sugar, sugar and insulin goes down, your body will not store that into fat. The other thing I'm gonna tell you is stop bringing in so many toxins. So there's a, there's a term going on right now called dirty keto. And um, it really is true that if you b lower your glucose and your insulin, but then you're drinking Diet Cokes and you're putting toxic uh, solutions on your body and hair and makeup and you're, you're drinking out of toxic uh, cans and you're eating toxic food, that you still have excess of something and your body still has to store that somewhere. So bring down those, that blood sugar, bring down the insulin and look at or, and in your toxic environment and see what you can bring down those toxins. Those of you that were at my reset experience, I talked about how there's 87,000 new chemicals introduced into our environment in the last 50 years. This is a huge reason that people are obese and are struggling to lose weight. So look at your environment, see what you can do to minimize the toxins, start eating fresh food, okay? So that's step number one. Let's bring the excess down. Now, what do you do about the excess that you stored years ago? So it's still sitting in there in fat. 
Now, a lot of you are coming to fasting and you're seeing that you're burning fat much quicker, and that's awesome. So if you're watching this video, you're doing keto, you got a clean diet, you're fasting really well, and you're dropping weight, then just stay with that and just make sure you're varying it. So that's really a common theme you'll hear on my channel is keep varying it. So if that is used, just stick with it. Fasting's wonderful for getting at that excess. But if you're not budging at all, you're like, I'm doing low sugar, low keto, I'm not budging, and I and my weight isn't, this excess isn't released, that's where you're gonna have to look at some detoxing because there's toxins in there that are not at your body's best advantage to let go of. And there, I'll be doing videos, so stay tuned, subscribe to my channel. I'll be doing videos on all the different ways you can detox. I have already done videos on detox, so there's three different levels of detoxing that you can do. But for a lot of you, it starts with lowering the excess and then implementing some type of detox so we can shake these toxins loose. Now, I want to address a third issue that we see a lot, not only here on our online platform, but I see here in my clinic, and that's that as you start fasting, as you bring that excess down, these toxins get released and they start causing you some problems. So the problems can be like your hair falling out, the problems can be um, swelling in joints, bloatedness, trouble sleeping, achiness, that as those toxins come out, they can really wreak havoc on your body. So there are some things you can do to mitigate those symptoms. So for example, I, I can't tell you if you haven't tried Fast Tonic, this is one of the greatest supplements for fasting that will help with these toxins that get spit out of the cells when you're fasting and help mitigate any detox symptoms. It's their little tablets you put in hydrogen uh, or in water and it pulls the hydrogen from your water and then you drink it real quick and it'll really help with the toxins that are coming out from fasting. Okay, second thing. There's a product called Moors. I only had the liquid version to show you guys. It comes in capsules too. All of this you can find on Revelation Health. Moors, what it does is it opens up the cellular pathways so that as you're doing things like stimulating autophagy and, and working to, to get the excess out of the fat cells, this will help, op help open up the cells so that those cells can start to detoxify better. It's called methylation and Moors will open up the methylation pathway. Then one of my other favorite supplements is uh, Restore. It's actually now called Ion Biome. So if you go to Revelation Health, it will look different, but this is to seal off any leaky gut so that as those toxins come out, they don't get, you don't auto intoxicate. They don't redistribute and go up into the brain. And then of course, you guys know I love Bind. It's activated charcoal that will bind any toxins in your gut. So make sure you start off Let's minimize excess. Then the second thing, let's add in some detoxing. Stick with your fasting variation lifestyle that we're, we're teaching you here. If you're getting bad symptoms, then rely on some of these supplements to help you mitigate and handle those symptoms. Now, let's talk one more thing before I close this video down, is let's talk about what are some of the other things that are in that excess. So we've got insulin, sugar, we've got in heavy metals is a big one. We've got glyphosate, which is sprayed on your foods. Um, we've got uh, plastics, which are everywhere. So we live in this toxic environment. And so you've got a lot of toxins stored in that fat. But the other thing, and this is really important for women, especially as you're going through those menopause years, is that you've got estrogen in there. So your body has stored estrogen in fat. And so as you are detoxing, as you are fasting, as you're burning fat, a lot of times toxic estrogen will be released. And this can cause you hot flashes. This is, I've seen women come out of menopause that have been in menopause for a while when they start fasting because every, all of the toxic stuff, including your natural hormones, are gonna start to come out. So fat, it is literally saving your life but it doesn't mean that it has to hang around. You have a lot of control over it, but stop hating it. You can't heal a body that you hate. Stop hating it. Acknowledge that all it is, all it is is excess. It's excess when you didn't know better and now you know better. So now that you know better, you can do better and you can actually start to approach your fat loss from a different perspective. 
Stop hating your body. It's designed in your favor. It's designed for survival. And as you step into a fasting lifestyle, yeah, there's gonna be bumps. And these toxins coming out are one of those bumps. But don't give up on yourself because you can burn fat. You can do this without horrible symptoms. You can get it, tap into that excess, tap into that innate intelligence in the body and get your body burning fat just by following those, those three steps that I just talked about, okay? And as always, hope that helps.